This is the Harvey Wells TBS 50C transmitter made back in the 1950s. This particular unit was uh, was in a barn <laughs> and I bought it from these folks and uh, it was very well damaged. Uh, the rust was all over it and uh, the front panel had been uh, dented in. I made a new front panel for it and sanded the case all down, repainted it with crackle varnish, baked it in the oven here in the kitchen. My wife did not like that at all and uh, got it all restored. I did that uh, about five years ago and I've been using it ever since. Most of the time I use it on the 6 meter AM 50.4 net that's run on Tuesday nights out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, the power supply, I built the power supply myself. It runs 300 volts. Now the power supply on this transmitter can be anywhere from 300 to 450. And with 300 volts it only develops 10 watts in the output. It has a uh, 807 in the final, a 6AQ5 tube driver, and a 6AQ5 oscillator. I've got a crystal in it for 50.4 megahertz and I use it on, like I say, on the AM net, usually on six meters. I have used it on low band and on CW, it works just fine. It's a great old transmitter and a real neat one to fix up and get going. I'm gonna transmit here. I've got the bird watt meter on the shelf above and the bird watt meter. Oh, I got the receiver on too. <laughs> there we go. And the bird watt meter shows about 10 watts. That's a 100 watt scale there with a 100 watt slug. So, And the uh, Harvey Wells uh, meter is showing a reading of uh, uh, 75 mils on the plate current. So it's running 10 watts out on 6 meters with 300 volts on the plate. Two things I might mention about this transmitter. One thing is when you get one of these things going, you'll find that the uh, variable capacitors for the plate and load will arc they do this quite often. It gets annoying and it, it, you can blow a final that way too. So on this unit here I have clipped the uh, connections to the plate and load capacitor right up close to the capacitor and I have put in series there a 0 .01 microfarad capacitor of 3 kV on each one of the capacitors. This is a large amount of capacity and doesn't affect the tuning of the rig. However, it does add a whole lot of insulation and this rig has never arced in the five years since I did that. Also on the back of the rig, uh, I, I, I can't turn it around to show you here, but on the back of the rig I put a piece of sheet plastic over the high voltage connections. Now if you wonder why I did that, just uh, just af as you're using your Harvey Wells transmitter someday, you stick your hand around back to move it a little bit and contact those connections, you'll understand why I did that. I did that once. Holy cow, is that a jolt. Anyway, this is the Harvey Wells TBS-50C. I'm using a uh, carbon microphone. This is an old Heath kit microphone case that I had, and I have a telephone carbon microphone in there. I just soldered a couple wires right on the back of the telephone carbon cartridge. It came out of a Bell telephone, one of those round ones, and those really work great on here. I have had problems with surplus microphones. Uh, you know, you had to wrap them on the table and everything to get them to work. You don't have to do that with a telephone cartridge if you're using a carbon microphone. So that's it. And uh, by golly, I look for you guys on 50.4 a.m. when the band opens up. 73s.